you get the exhaust off you can get to everything a lot better so what we're going to do is remove the master cylinder uh, on this particular one it has no brake pedal so that means the piston is stuck back there typical um, with the dot four brake fluid on these it kind of like turns into a wax in there and uh, jams everything up so what we're going to do is I'm going to remove it I'm going to show you how to remove it clean it rebuild it real quick with the pedal you're getting brake to the rear and the front left so what I'm going to do is flush that whole system you know what I mean get all that crap out of there I'll show you how to do that I'll show you how to get to everything and then uh, you're going to have working brakes everything's going to be great anyways with that being said let's get to work <laughs> All right. All right, got a little cotter pin set up here. We're just going to free up this pedal. All right, cotter pin. Get your, get your shaft out of there. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know, shaft, clevis. I don't know what it is. Free that up. Twelve millimeter. We need to get this line off. Boy, that's really on there. You can do what you want to do. I'm gonna do what I want to do. Okay, around. So we're around the back. You're underneath my motorcycle. We got the this line bolt right here. Uh, the whole thing, the whole fitting comes off with this banjo bolt in the back. It's way easier to get the banjo off. And then we just got to free up that reservoir line. Yeah, you're just going to go in here. The reservoir line is bound up in here. That's the only thing left holding this on. Just open that clip up. And uh, give it a little movement. You see the clip in there. Let me see, where's that? Can we see it? The clip's in there, it'll come off. Um, or I'm sorry, two Phillips head screws. I'll pop this right off. You want to clean the switch too. So if you have like some uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner or something like that, you know, because this can mess with your cruise control. All right, well, that's that. Rear master cylinder, it's out. trunk skirt you got four Phillips screws so we're going one two this one right here and two on the same side I mean two in the same place on the other side a uh, little tough on the camera angle so you get it though I mean
basically after you get these four screws off you're going to work a trim tool down the edge until it kind of pops a little bit and then you have to pull it forward all right so we got the uh caliper cleaned out I'm sorry, we have the brake master cylinder cleaned out. Now we need to get to the rear caliper and also the front left. But right now we're going to do the rear. We'll do the whole thing front to back. Got to get this got to get this box off here, left hand side box. So there's a little access piece here. Just stick a pick under it, pull it off. There's another one. Right here on the side. Stick a pick in it, pull it off, gives you access to two Phillips head drivers. Take them off, you're going to get this little bottom piece off right here, this little bottom trim. That's a little stuck in there, there we go. Pull it out real nice. You got three eight millimeter bolts to the back side. One, two, three. And then you have two, one, and two. All right, I had to take this. Uh... I had to take this um, aftermarket trim off. It was in my way, right? That won't be your problem. So anyway, what I want to show you down here is we need to slide the, the box off, but you need to get this part out from behind this clip first. So you want to move that box over this way and separate them. You don't want to break this tab. It's really important for holding everything together, right? And then, we're just going to slide the box out. 12 inch, ba uh, 12 millimeter banjo bolt and a 14 and I think a 12 here. Yeah, 12 and a 14. Okay. So. do is take that banjo bolt I'm gonna get this brake clean and hope it doesn't spray into my camera now I'll let that soak for a little while while I'm messing with the caliper and then I'll shoot it again and blow it out with compressed air Pop this bleeder valve off, eight millimeter. We're gonna clean that out. We're gonna clean the whole setup out. See, look, can you see that? Yeah, you see all the crap on it? Let it saturate in there for a little bit. All right, you wanna see there's a good slot right there. Just get a driver and push the pistons back in. We, we, we need to uh, make sure we have movement. So I'm going to show you how you do that. All right. This one's got good movement. So pretty happy about that. But we send them back in. All right. And then what I like to do is use your finger, right, and block off where that banjo bolt was. Use your bleeding screw, the bleeding screw hole, okay? And you're gonna run air right in it and you're gonna watch those pistons come right up. Let's see, let's make sure you got a good shot. Boom, got good movement.
it's well greased in there so I'm gonna run with it All right, guys, GoPro got me a little bit again, so I didn't get that footage of uh, taking it apart, so I'm going to have to give you the reverse jobby here. Slip it in. The Speedo cable stays on the outside. This whole setup goes on the, uh, this, all this stuff goes on the inside, all right? You slide it in. You got to get these two clips under the front fender right here, right, and then get the get it into the grommet, right. So you have that uh, that bracket right there. We're gonna slide that in. This is the other half of the bracket, right? They interlock with each other. So gonna slide that in and down. Close them together. You got the little, the little washer. It's like a hat. Looks like a hat. If you don't have that in there, you're going to break this panel, man. You're going to crack it. Kill him. Okay, you got to tuck in right here into the fender back here is a little fender molding, little chrome fender molding. Tuck in there first, right? Kind of get it in. And just lift it up a little bit, right? You see the name and everything right there? All right, slip it on top of the uh, calipers. And then slip it right around your bolt holes there. All right, six millimeter Allen key on the top. Get that guy. Okay, five millimeter Allen key on the bottom. You know the scoop. Got to clean out the reservoir too. So get that nice and blasted out. I got a. Uh, old school snap on vacuum tester I got a reservoir hanging down right here it's got a little bit right there look you can go you can go get one of these I mean I broke the hand pump but it was a $20 setup from AutoZone Now I got everything on this side of the bike because that's how I'm going to suck it through, 
right? So 10 millimeter up front. We're going to uh, crack the bleeder screw. And just pull it through. And basically what I'm going to do is watch that reservoir and make sure it doesn't empty out. Because, you know, the whole purpose of what we're doing here is to uh, get the air out, right? So, I got everything right here. starting to move you just watch the reservoir get slow fill it right up then I watch the reservoir over here I'm waiting to see some stuff come in to come in now so I see it in there all right I'm gonna fill this reservoir up again I'm gonna go back over here and uh, it's coming pretty good dude so I'm gonna close the line on that one I'll just top this off. All you're looking for is solid fluid coming through. You see solid fluid? No air bubbles. Now the air bubbles are eventually going to form in the line somewhere down the line. But you look at the first few inches of the line and uh, if there's no bubbles, you're in good shape, dude. Get me a stick or something. Oh, two by four. All right, gonna hold that down. We're on to the cruise cancel switch. Now that we got everything in, our pedal's good, okay? You remember the switch we took off right here? This two Phillips screw jobby here, okay? So there's a button in there, all right? That's the cruise control cancel switch, okay? So just to give you a little, I'm gonna try to, I'm depressing the brake all the way just to get in there. Hear that button? Okay, that needs to remain depressed. And then to be released when you hit the pedal, okay? Now, the way we do that, we got a 12 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, and a 14 millimeter. Okay? So we need to let this cancel up some this is our guy right here that's going to give us the adjustment okay that's somebody's really got that in there boy all right all right we're going to pull this down and just we're going to pull this 12 out of the way start walking this down until we hear the click There's the click. And I'll go just a little bit, just a hair more. 
Now we'll test it before we tighten it up. Needs to go more. Okay. Then we're going to tighten that back up. in there. Alright, we're going to test it again. We got it good. Now, for this guy, I'm going to lube it up. I'm going to use dry lube because I'm hitting the switch and everything. Lube it up a little bit, just work it around. All right, we're working pretty good.